Good evening, everyone, and thank you for logging in on short notice to this intelligence briefing. I'll give a short introduction to the group of interest, Marshall, Carter, and Dark, for those of you that don't already know, before revealing what our deep cover agent embedded within the group has managed to decode for the Foundation. I will ask that you save all questions to the end. Does everybody copy? Excellent. Marshall, Carter, and Dark Limited are a club based in London, England. Catering to the super-rich and with extensive political and financial ties worldwide, this group has caused extensive problems for the Foundation. Marshall, Carter and Dark Limited is known for collecting rare and obscure items, along with providing its members the most exclusive, expensive and rare experiences available. These activities have resulted in conflict with the Foundation on numerous occasions. The group is not known for the use of force. They prefer to apply extreme financial and political pressure to achieve their goals. When forced to use more direct means, Marshall, Carter and Dark Limited employs outside agents and it is very difficult to connect said agents to the organization. Marshall, Carter and Dark Limited has caught several SCP containment breaches, primarily through the use of money or social pressure. Several reports, records, and even items have been leaked by Foundation personnel who had been approached with large amounts of money or threats of extensive jail time or torture. Notably, two containment sites were almost brought to public attention after the Foundation refused access to members of Marshall, Carter and Dark Limited. Information pertaining to Marshall, Carter and Dark Limited, such as the name of the director or even a list of members, has proven very difficult to acquire. Agents encountering members of this group are advised to maintain a cover story and not, for any reason, reveal Foundation ties or SCP information. The following is a broadcasted orientation for an unknown number of employees from the Marshall, Carter and Dark sales team. Welcome to your orientation. My name is not important as far as you are concerned. In the context of this meeting, I am just a humble salesman. I am sure you have many questions for us, but first, I have a question for you. Why do rich people care about making money? The poor certainly need to care about doing so. When one's resources are only enough to scrape by, money is all that matters. It is important for the middle class as well. Looking after their spouses, their children, there is a culture of dependence that weighs them down. The rich want to make money because they can always become richer. There is always another eclong of wealth to rise above, some degree of opulence that is beyond their grasp. They drive to even further heights, seeking to slake their thirst for coin. They care about making money simply because they can. To do so, the rich exploit people far below them on the social ladder, the poorest of the poor, to the oil magnet, to the harsh dictator, to the kings of queens and lords and ladies, the common people are specks of dirt. To Marshall, Carter and Dark, the rich are onto ants. People regardless of social standing are all the same. The poor may spend their savings on worthless yet treasured trinkets sold by the middle class. The salary man may splurge on a pretty ring for his wife, the profits of which go into the pockets of a wealthy mining boss. In the same way, the gullible rich will burn millions of dollars on a single impossible object. Everyone is willing to waste their precious, precious money on something out of the ordinary. But value is artificial. The poor spend their pennies on mass-produced china, convinced that it has some worth to it. The rich convince the middle class that diamonds are rare, valuable, despite the stones being retrieved in Africa by the billion. Marshall, Carter and Dark convince the rich that the impossible is invaluable, while any anatist on the street can twist a die into a hypercube. The methodology of such a scheme is quite simple, but the critical step is to gain a market monopoly. If you are the only seller in town, you can set the price at any level you desire, so long as you can drum up demand. In this regard, Marshall, Carter and Dark have the advantage. For hundreds of years, we were the only peddlers of anonymous wares in the world. 
We had the time to gain the capital, and with that capital, we can now outprice even the most competitive upstart. While organisations such as the Foundation, the GOC and the Horizon Initiative resent our company's existence, they are unable to deal with such an inassailable economic powerhouse. With a glance, Marshall, Carter and Dark could level a city, bankrupt a country. With a single call, we could plunge the planet into a thermonuclear war. Yet to the eternal relief of all, we are the least volatile players in the anomalous field. After all, if the veil of secrecy were to break, our trinkets would become worthless, our business would crumble and dissolve. Well, this may cause some to think of Marshall, Carter and Dark as a massive, faceless corporation, our workforce numbers at most in the order of 100 personnel. Our operations are directed and streamlined, maximising efficiency and minimising cost. Further manpower, if necessary, is outsourced from other organisations. Those in the highest positions of power here are perhaps the most mysterious. While stories abound on the subject, depending on the source, they may be ghosts or demons, old men sending messages from beyond the grave, faceless monsters from another world, or even shape-shifting lizardmen. A major part of our operations is establishing supply lines between various anonymous groups. Marshall, Carter and Dark purchase directly from groups such as Dr. Wondertainment and The Factory, reselling their goods at exorbitant markups. <laughs> Prometheus Labs gladly supplies us with their latest research in exchange for samples of exotic and complex anomalies. They often host an art exhibitions, exerting notable control over the artistic marketplace. Similarly, we host various social functions for the most rich and powerful people in the world. We have hooks throughout Europe, America, Russia and China. There is never trouble finding a market for any given item. We are, of course, willing to sell to any buyer. Groups such as the Chaos Insurgency are some of our most valuable clients. Perhaps the organisations most opposed to us at Marshall, Carter and Dark are the Manor Charitable Foundation and the Servant's Hand. Manor Charitable often attempts to sabotage our operations due to our restrictions of anonymous goods to the upper class. However, their limited range of resources makes them more <laughs> irritating than threatening. The Servant's Hand, meanwhile, are directly and openly antagonistic, caring neither for the veil of secrecy or our company's continuing practice of anomalous human trafficking, and impossible to economically intimidate. They represent the only pervasive threat to our group's operations. Without question, we at Marshall, Carter and Dark are one of the most important pieces on the chessboard of the anomalous world, occasionally putting other players into check, but never into mate. For us at Marshall, Carter and Dark, the planet is an intricate network that we have safely secured beneath our thumb, where winning and losing are meaningless terms. There is no need to move pieces when we can move the board. When you can end the match at any time, there's only one reason to continue, after all. It's all about playing the game. So, that's all from me for now. I shall leave you in the capable hands of your regional supervisors, where you will be assigned your company names, work through a mandatory icebreaker, and go over the finer details of your employee contract. I expect good results from all of you. Current efforts to trace the source of the broadcasts are ongoing. The identity of the salesman is currently unknown pending investigation, but they are theorized to be a high-ranking agent of Marshall, Carter and Dark Limited. Tracking down this salesman is to be considered high priority per 05 decree.